So today's thought, you know, just yesterday, I, I read an article, I came across an article about a former teammate of mine. His name is Doug Belk. Doug Belk, who I was a teammate, he was my teammate for my first year in college, my freshman year at Carson Newman College, right? And I had, listen, when I tell you the power of teamwork, what the reason I named my chapter, right? The chapter in my latest book, The Six Figure Athlete, is called Make a Connection. A connection, not smoozing, a connection. Make a connection. And this is what this is what people mean when they say, look, the academics are important, playing football and getting your academics and getting your getting that degree, getting that paper is important. However, the connections that you make on the team are gonna serve you so much more. They're gonna serve you a whole lot better than you know the, the actual piece of paper, all right? Doug Belk, let me tell you, when I first met Doug Belk, he was having a conversation with uh, another a teammate or a teammate of mine named Chris Brooks, who's, who was actually happened to become my roommate, right? <laughs> this was actually before we became roommates. And Chris, I don't know if I've ever told you the story, but I'm gonna, tell, I'm gonna say it now. <laughs> They were having a conversation. It was my first semester and they were talking about some high school that I never heard of. Now you got to keep in mind, I went to Good Council High School, which is nationally known, playing on ESPN. You know, we, 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 we big time. So I never actually thought I'd meet another player on the team at a Division II school that, ha that came from a, a high school that had more press than mine, right? So Doug, Doug and Chris are having a conversation about, yeah, yeah, you know, we just got ranked number two in the nation and, you know, we was hovering over that number one. So I look back, I'm like, the fuck, what the fuck are y'all talking about, man? And they both look at me, they look, they look at me and they say, yeah, we went to Lowndes in Valdosta, Georgia. And then Chris went even further and then he pulled up the, uh, he pulled up the trophies they won and all that kind of shit. I'm like, ah, oh, damn, <laughs> you know, God, you know, I said I had to switch the conversation to basketball and shit like that. But anyway, that's besides the point. The point of the point I'm making is, Doug, the, the article, the article that I read about Doug was talking about how he's the next upcoming coach. I don't know if he actually got officially got hired as the, the head coach at Houston, but he, they're talking about how he was the next hot prospect. And it was brought it was brought to people's attention because he was a part of this coalition started from a coach by uh, coach by the name of Mike Loxley, who is co head coach of Maryland and is from the DMV just before, you know, just so you guys know that I'll put that out there, too. But it's the, the name of the coalition is the National Coalition of Minority Coaches. All right. So as I read that article, I started to think back on all the, the, the things I got going on and whether it's the books, whether it's the podcast, whether it's the merch, whether it's the boxing lessons, everything I do to serve football coaches. And I realized, okay, now I'm ready to reach out. I didn't just, I'm not just going to go blindly reach out to people, which is a mistake that a lot of people make. A lot, a lot of people make the mistake of going out and just reaching out without actually having a product, without actually having a service, without actually having something that's going to actually uplift the actual organization. All right. This is why they say it's networking, not smoozing. And the connection has to be genuine. The connection has to be genuine. I, I'm actually going to be biting. I got to bite my guy, my guy, Darren Palmer. Darren Palmer, I'm biting one of your lines on this one. He said, the way you go from contacts to contracts is R, and that's the beginning of relationships. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't know if I said it as well as he laid it out, but that's the truth about the whole thing. And I gotta tell you, and I'll close you up with this story, because this is true, this is true, this is true in any business. And you could take this, you could take this advice and you could apply it to any business that you're in. This doesn't just have to be sports. Eventually, your, you know, your degrees and your paper and your masters and all that kind of stuff, yes, it matters and it's important that you get that information, but make sure you're getting in touch and you're making a connection in a literal sense, not necessarily just, oh, I know this one, I know that one. You have to make a connection to what your industry needs Focus on what your industry needs and then start thinking about, all right, maybe I can go back and get my master's if I have this, if I have this, if I have this job, then I'll go out and get my master's because this job gives me the practical experience so I can actually apply, apply the things I'm learning to an actual real world thing. The same way I'm going to apply once I get a chance to reach out to the Minority Football Coaches Coalition, I'm applying what they're about and saying, hey, here's a six figure athlete, here's the athlete bundles, here's move swiftly, here's the coloring book I got, here's the boxing lesson you know all those kinds of things you know what i'm saying here's the youtube channel like here's the podcast here's make your move.com all those things and it's very important that you grasp that grasp that get in contact right and then go to contracts relationships all right